slowly but surely, the Indian audience has to return to that forum of entertainment, the film theatre. It was arguably a reasonably nice opportunity for individual theatres to open up and bring back the habit of single theatres and single screen. But two years and investment logistics did not create that. So therefore, we are going back when we do completely to the multiplex theatres and ideally suited to one multiplex theatre is this film made by Harshwardhan Kulkarni, Badhai Do. To the uninitiated, we all know Badai Ho was an interesting take of a middle-aged couple finding themselves in what can be good news, bad news, of the middle-aged couple suddenly realizing that the stock is due to arrive how the family, how society reacts with it was what Badai Ho was about. Badai Do, on the other hand, deals with yet another heterodoxical topic and this is a topic that our cinema deals with but rarely and often deals with it very platitudinally or very moralistically, or very condescendingly. Full marks to Harshwardhan Kulkarni for doing none of these, eschewing those stereotypical stances and telling us a slightly tongue-in-cheek story of two LGBTQ persons and how they challenge, how they deal with the way they are made. Interestingly, it is unapologetic. More interestingly, it is not crass. Intriguingly, it is tongue-in-cheek. And very importantly, it is not full of platitudes. It's tongue in cheek to the extent that somebody like Rishida or Basu Chatterjee are going to be very happy wherever they are that there are makers of that school of cinema even today who are likely to take up a topic that is so typically middle class, if I may use that expression, and deal with it within the precincts of a non Yashraj, a non Karan Johar scenario. So forget the dostana part of a relationship, a male-male relationship. Forget the very uh, strong fire from Deepa Mehta and you will land up in where you believe saying badai do to Harshwardhan Kulkarni. Our protagonists, we have Suman Bhumi Padnekar in a role of a physical instructor in, born in a lower middle class family living with her parents Nitesh Pandey and lovely Misha and a brother who has an alternate sexual preference obviously given the social milieu of a larger India she does not go public with her sexual preferences. We have on the other hand, Shardul Thakur, Rajkumar Rao, who is an inspector in a police station, strangely in a women's wing, he's where, where he's posted, where of course he feels stifled and wants to move out. He too is a guy who has alternate sexual preferences and has a partner. While both families are energetically looking out for a life partner, a regular life partner, 
for the groom and gal, respectively. A chance encounter between Suman and Shardul opens up the possibility of what they call a lavender marriage, where they both pretend to be married to one another, have social sanction to have their respective affairs with whoever they want to. In the midst of all this, Suman runs into Rimjim, a character very interestingly cast, Chum Darangi from the Northeast. Rimjim joins the family after their marriage, and therefore she is a live in partner for Suman, while Shardul, of course, has to go out with Bhumi, uh, with uh, Suman, when he has to meet his boyfriend. There are these little hiccups in the marriage. There are ups and downs in the relationship. Though they are not in a physical relationship with one another, there are some expectations, disappointments, envies and jealousies. Do the families accept their relationship? How are they going to deal with it? If Shubh Mangal Zyada Savdhan was one step towards mainstream cinema dealing with same sex relationships. Badhai Do is the next push of the envelope. With a cast like this, the job is half done. Everyone in the film may be. Uh, Shiba Chedda as the widowed mother of the police officer, his over dominating aunt Seema Pahwa, then of course Lavleen Mishra and Nitesh Pandey as the parents. Everyone is anchored to the role to near perfection. Bhumi Pitmaker. You know when she is in a film, it is a script of substance. She is almost an insurance policy to good cinema. She does not disappoint. She pushes the film up a few levels. If you are not convinced with all this, to buy your ticket to watch Badai Do, and you are a lover of good cinema, still go and see it. This that near perfect, magnificent performance from Raj Kumar Rao. Now hesitant, now angry, now embarrassed, now emotional. Every gamut of human emotion. Here is an actor who does not have to use his hands. The entire gamut that a student of cinema would like to have comes across this face, essayed to near perfection. Raj Kumar Rao is that actor who our cinema must be proud of. He does not have to use his limbs, he does not have to get that extra voice into his cinema. At the end of it all, is it the script? Is it the combined strength of the performances of the actors? Is it their rooted existence in reality? Is it the director? Maybe a debate, but one individual referable point for watching the film is indeed Raj Kumar Rao. Watch it and that will be the best way all of us who cringe and creep and cry that we do not make good cinema in India. To invest in good cinema, please go and watch Badai Do and the best way you can felicitate the director, 
is by giving you a thumbs up for a film that reserves rich recognition. Sign off thanking Abhinav and Dattu and would look forward to comments from all of you both after watching the film and about how you like this review. So long, stay safe.